Long-standing issues with our health care system have been highlighted during the pandemic. Today, the Ontario Medical Association is recommending solutions to tackle the province's biggest health care problems. More than a million Ontarians didn't have a family doctor. Doctors, nurses, and other front line healthcare providers were very burnt out and burning out. And uh, when that happens, it impedes access to care for, for the rest of Ontarians. The OMA says the timing of this report is key. It's the first of its kind in the association's 140 year history. Thousands of Ontarians took part, combined with advice from doctors and more than 110 healthcare organizations and social service agencies. I think we rank number nine in per capita spending on health care. I think we can move um, immediately on some of these um, issues. Under the OMA's five-point plan, the first priority is reducing care backlogs and wait times. We've now seen a ballooning of the pandemic backlog of care to close to 20 million points of care. So that's someone's hip or knee replacement that's gone delayed. It's someone's cancer screening or diagnostic, like a mammogram or a colonoscopy that's gone delayed. It's someone's access to mental health and addiction services that's gone delayed. Number two, improving mental health and addiction services and access to those services. This has been, over the course of the past year, the largest year to record um, uh, on, uh, on opioid deaths in the province. It's, we need a strategy for mental health. Number three is strengthening long-term care in the province, an issue thousands of Ontario families are tragically familiar with after the deadly COVID-19 outbreaks at care homes and scathing reports of mistreatment. The president of OMA says the final two steps complete the roadmap to better health care in the province. Making sure that we're pandemic-proofing the future, which means that we should have been ready for this one. We got to be ready for the next pandemic. And finally, we wanted to make sure that care is integrated across the entire healthcare system and spectrum. And that's where we're going to be focusing on the digital infrastructure that's going to be required for the future. The OMA says they will be advocating for all provincial political parties to adopt these recommendations between now and the provincial election in June. For City News, I'm Aliha Sheikh.